Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Nishita Yadav. So for today's video, we are going to learn chapter number system. This is the first chapter of class 9th maths and we have already covered two parts. So if you have not watched those two parts, then the link is down in the description. You can go and watch those parts first. And in this in this part, we are going to cover a little about irrational numbers. So yeah, here we go. So let's say that now we have to plot root 2 on the number line. Till now the numbers were easy to plot. The numbers were in the p by q form. The rational number were very easy to plot on the number line. But now we have to plot root 2 on the number line which is an irrational number. So let's see that how we can plot root 2 on a number line. So the easiest way is to take one unit on the positive side of the number line. Here is the one unit from 0 to 1. It's an one unit and another one unit from C to B. We will mark them as A, B, C, D so that it will be easier for us to know that which uh, what I am talking about. So from A to C, it's one unit and from C to B, it's another one unit. So if we join A and B, this A and B is a root 2 simply because of Pythagoras theorem, it's root 2. So now look at this triangle. In this triangle, in this triangle, the one side is 1 and the other side is 1, right? So the third side or the hypotenuse will be nothing but 1 plus 1, which is square root of y. So which is why the hypotenuse is root 2. So now we have to take a compass. From A to B, we will measure, measure the compass. As this root 2 is not on the number line, it's above the number line. So we will measure a compass from A to B and we will mark, we will mark, uh, we will make a semicircle and the point which will come on the number line from that compass, that point is exactly root 2. So this is how you plot root 2 on the number line. One is one unit is this and one unit is this and it will join together. This will be root 2 and we will mark it on the number line. So what if you want to plot root 3 on a number line? So look at this triangle again. How do we plot root 2? 1 plus 1 give us 2. That is why we got root 2. Now what will give us 3? For 3, 2 plus 1 will give us 3, right? And 2 is nothing but root 2 square. So in this triangle, if we take the base of the triangle as root 2 and the B and C, the height of the triangle as one unit only, the hypotenuse of it will be root 3, right? Right, because root 2 square is 2 and 1 square is 1. So if we add together, we will get 3. So this is how we will get root 3. So now you can go on and on and on and you can plot any root on the number line. So easy, right? So instead of this, we can make a spiral also. As there we find that root 2 line is there, we can form a root 3 from there only. And we can create a spiral just like this. It will go on and on and on. So here we have few questions from what we have studied just right now. So the first question is that irrational numbers can be located on the number line using Pythagoras theorem. This is the true false question. So you can give your answer right below in the comment section. Meanwhile, this answer will be true as I just showed you the justification that it will be, it will be solved using Pythagoras theorem only. So now let's move on the next move on to the next question which is the square root of 16 is dash the option is doesn't exist is rational is irrational so these are the three options given in this question so the answer will be is rational as root of 16 is 4 so 4 is a rational number right so now let's move on to the next question so the question is that root 2 lies between dash on the number line. 
so the option is a 2 and 3 b 0 and 1 c 1 and 2 so these are the three options given in this question you can write your answer in the comment section right below so the answer of this will be 1 and 2 so how it will be 1 and 2 as we know that when a is smaller than b and b is smaller than c then root uh, sorry square a will be also smaller than square b and square b will also smaller than square c so the conserve must be true that when a square is smaller than b square and b square is smaller than c square then a must be smaller than b and b also should be smaller than c and now we know that 1 is smaller than 2 and 2 is smaller than 4 so root 1 be root 1 must be smaller than root 2 and root 2 must be smaller than root 4 so 1 will be always smaller than root 2 and 2 must be bigger than root 2 so hence we know that 1 and uh, root 2 lies between 1 and 2 as root 1 is smaller than root 2 and root 2 is smaller than 2 so on the number line it will be between 1 and 2 so guys that was the answer and that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please press the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you have not done yet so that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and we will meet in the next part soon so stay tuned bye